Hi, this is Lauren with L Care Soap and Such and Lauren Cares Naturals. And I've been wanting to do a maple syrup bar of soap with some maple syrup in there for a long time. And we just recently got a jar of maple syrup from some friends of ours. And I decided that I was going to try to use it in the soap for the very first time. I also got this mold that has these cute little maple leaves in it. So I'm just giving you a quick peek at putting together my salty maple syrup bar of soap. I used the heat transfer method here and I put the turbinado cane sugar in my lye water to help with bubbles because when you do a salt bar it doesn't want to give you very many bubbles. And so the combination of the oils that you use and the amount of sugars that you use help to make that bar a little more bubbly than it might be otherwise. I love the color that came forth in uh, putting that sugar in those oils and lye water because it looks really maple-y right now. After the saponification process occurs, it changes color drastically. So I'm mixing in my maple syrup, which is only about 1% of the total oils in my recipe. I did make another batch of something with the salt, salty maple that I did not show you. So I'm gonna have a little bit left over I wanted to make sure that I mixed the salt in well and that it didn't settle on the bottom. There is something so satisfying about pouring your soap batter into a mold, knowing that it's going in liquid and it's going to harden and then you'll be able to use it is so fascinating to me. I really enjoy baking, but I enjoy making soap more because that soap can be used and it doesn't disappear quickly or add calories to your diet. It has now been about 24 hours and I put these in the freezer so that they would unmold more compactly uh, just in case it was a little soft. So now we have six cute little bars with a little maple leaf in the center and as you can see they are very light in color, not the maple color that I was hoping they would be. But as we'll see in a little bit, they still are going to do some amazing things for our skin when we use them. And this is my salty maple soap that you've just seen the video for. And I'm really curious as to how it's going to work. This is the very first time I've ever used maple syrup in a salt bar. So I have my soap saver that I got just recently, um, which I really love. It's purple. It's really important for you to have some kind of a soap saver when you uh, purchase handcrafted soap because as in the case of my soap I don't usually put anything in there that is going to help to harden the bar except maybe some salt so it's nice to have something you can put your soap on so that it drains and then it will last longer that's something that's really important and I put that on most of my labeling 
but let's get to it and find out what kind of lather we're going to get. Now this is only a couple days old, um, out of the mold. And normally a salty bar does not lather as much. And that's why I put the turbinado cane sugar in there. And it's also why I use the maple syrup with the salt bar. So as you can see, it's more creamy than it is bubbly. Can you see that? Some of the creaminess that's there. It's definitely nice and soft. A salt bar is um, detoxifying because the salt actually works as something to, to pull impurities out of your skin. So if I give it a good mixing up, I can get this much lather out of it and it will change over the time that it cures as well but I just wanted to share that and I wanted to kind of get some kind of a picture of what that's going to be like when it's used I really love these little maple leaves that are inside of this little mold it's like a little mini bunt pan pretty cute definitely a soft as most of my bars are um, on your skin. Makes it feel so good. There it is, my salty maple soap. Thanks for watching and God bless.